All right, everyone, welcome back. I am your Ice Dragon, Rayron VR. Today, we got another article in relation to the drama that is going on that is the merger of Canadian Pacific with Kansas City Southern. So, we kind of have like a lover's quarrel going on here. Uh, someone is just slightly salty that uh, they didn't get the merger that they want. But uh, this comes from Trains.com. Canadian National Questions Foundation of Canadian Pacific and Kansas City Southern merger application. Canadian rival claims Kansas City Pacific, or excuse me, Canadian Pacific and Kansas City Southern overstate traffic and revenue growth. So Canadian Pacific and Kansas City Southern have vastly overestimated traffic and revenue growth that would flow from their proposed combination, making the rest of their merger application a house of cards. Canadian National claims in a regulatory filing. The uh, KPKCS merger application is so riddled with errors that the Service Transportation Board not only, oh, excuse me, Board should not be able to rely on it to determine whether the $31 billion merger is in the public's interest. CN contends in a 409-page document filed late Monday. That is crazy. 409 pages tried to stop this merger. And we'll go into a little bit that um, I think CN has a case here. But again, it all depends on the Surface, uh, the surface Transportation Board to see if um, they will actually allow it. But CN says the revenue figure is... Oops, sorry. Um... Uh, CP says combining with KCS will produce 1 billion new revenue through a combination of diverting traffic from competing railroads, converting freight from highway to rail, and the introduction of single line service. Uh, KP Kansas City will capture 80,000 car loads and 137,000 intermodal containers currently handled by the competing railroads, along with taking 64,000 truck shipments off highways annually, according to uh, railways merger application. So um, that is actually something to really look into because when you deal with um, cargo and everything, it gets kind of complicated going from one railroad to another. Now that you have this potential merger, you know, they can take cargo from one place and go straight to another. And we'll look at a map that really signifies how this kind of plays out in the long term. But CN says that revenue figure is half of what KPKC projects or $501 million due to the inaccurate and unrealistic traffic growth projections. And CN claims that calls into question, say, P. Kansas City's operating plan, proposed capital investments, and other environmental impacts of the merger. Uh, so I won't read the rest of this, but uh, you guys can go to trains.com and read the rest of this. But I want to put this into perspective, kind of the aspect of this right here, of this particular paragraph, that converting freight from highway to rail. So right now, when we take a look at this map of Kansas City Southern, this is the typical... Uh, rail line so it goes from central United States all the way down into Mexico now with the combined proposed railroad now you can kind of see the implications of this so now not only do you have the northern part here you will now connect into uh, Omaha connect down here in the uh, Midwest in Illinois and not only that but you can go all the way down to Mexico because Kansas City Southern does also the Mexico uh, railroads as well. So with that, you can see that how in can, I'm trying to see how, how to explain this. So um, with this route, it makes it a lot more easier for shipping companies to go through, you know, um, Canadian Pacific, if you want to ship something from like Canada all the way down to uh, Mexico, because now it's just all one route. So what CN is potentially claiming here is that these, especially in these particular areas where there could be a lot of growth and traffic and future projections that this one network can easily be dominant over uh, competitors like Canadian National, like Union Pacific, and all these other railroads that it's going to be unfair and unequal. And the, another big argument that I've seen of this is that now you've got a monopoly um, that now you have a railroad that can go from all the way to north of North America, all the way down to um, into Mexico. And so that's where CN is really complaining that, hey, you guys really need to look at this. The surface, uh, the surface Transportation Board, you need to look into this because 
you know, we're estimating numbers here that is going to drive a lot of the competition or customers away from all these different railroads to KP and Kansas City Southern. And so now, you know, do they have a monopoly of this large um, railway? So definitely interesting. Uh, I'll read a little bit more here. Uh, so CN contends that in order that CP's rail diversion projections to come true, shippers will have to agree to pay higher uh, rates and use KP KC routes that are on average 217 miles longer than competing routes where the traffic moves today. No longer routes will dive or drive up uh, shippers costs as well as due to longer cycle times for their private car fleets, CN argues. So if federal regulators make uh, diversature a condition, or the vice secure a condition of the CP Kansas City merger. CN says it will spend $250 million to improve the trackage to tie to its former Illinois Central uh, subdivision. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, so continuing on the drama that uh, CN is trying to do. Um, looks like CN also urged the board to require that KP Casey keep interchange gateways open on commercially reasonable terms, develop a service assured assurance plan and post five years of the post merger monitoring of CP KC service. So yeah, CN is definitely trying to, um, you know, raise some questions about this particular merger and 490 pages. That's kind of ridiculous, but they do make some great points. Cause again, if you look at the, the proposed rail line, how big this railway is going to be, you know, there's some serious questions that, uh, you know, the Surface Transportation Board needs to consider. And that's why CN continues to, you know, this continues to dominate some of the news that, you know, we'll see what happens to see if the Surface Transportation Board is going to approve this or not. So uh, what do you guys think? Do you think this merger is going to happen? Do you think uh, Canadian National actually has a argument here? I don't know. We shall see. It all comes down to um, what the Surface Transportation Board decides here in the U.S. So, uh, with the guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and wing hugs to all, and to all a good night.